Hello everyone and welcome to this review video. My name is Maria and today we're going to solve together an exercise on the third chapter of Excel dealing with charts and averaging some if and counting functions. The first part of the exercise uh, is to compute in a new column the sum of hours dedicated to work and hours dedicated to family for each, uh, um, for each person. So we create this new column called uh, uh, let's say total hours and uh, we use the function sum to sum the hours dedicated to work and the hours dedicated to family. We can um, double click uh, on this uh, little square so uh, the column is, uh, is all filled through the with the same function. And now we have to highlight the results in using a green field color for the cells referring to its most active friend, more than 3000 hours of, of, of commitment, and a red field color for the latest one, less than 2000 hours. So what we do is to select this column and to apply conditional formatting, we create a new rule here and we use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now what we do is to put an equal sign and select the total hour, but uh, removing the dollar signs and putting it greater than 3000 with a format that consists in a green field color. And by doing OK, we see that the uh, most, let's say, active colleagues are highlighted. Now we do the same for the latest one. So we apply conditional formatting, a new rule using a formula to determine which cells to format, equal G2 as before, uh, but when it's less than 2000. And we say format using a red color. OK, and here is it. At this point, we name the initial data worksheet in calculation. So we double click on the name down here and this is it. Now, the second part of the exercise um, wants us to create a summary referring to the categories male and female using the appropriate functions to calculate amount of hours dedicated to work, to home and family, total hours of commitment and average hour per person according to the gender. Uh, so uh, we can create here a small table, male and female. And here at the top, we can just um, put these labels like hours at home, hours uh, at work, um, total hours and average hours. We can put this like this and actually <clears throat> to compute the total hours spent at work, we use the function sum if. Uh, so we look in the range of the gender, uh, the criteria M male. And as the sum range, we select the hours dedicated to work. Before entering the formula, formula we apply the dollars here so that later on we can re reuse this formula without changing the, the columns. And here is it. Now um, we do the same for hours, hours at work, just changing the sum range. So, the range is still the column B2, the gender is still male, the criteria I mean is still male, and the sum range is hours dedicated to home and family. Close the parenthesis and apply the dollars here. Now, same here for total hours, so sum if in the gender column, we have male, this time the 
from ranges uh, total hours here. We lock everything. Okay. And last, uh, to compute the average hours uh, spent, like uh, total commitment spent by each mail, we, we do like this. We put the equal sign and uh, uh, we use uh, the value the value we have here, so total hours over. And we use now count if that works the same way. So in the range of the gender column, it counts the M's. So it divides the, the value we have for all the M's it found. So for all the, the males, we lock it. And this is it. Now we do the same for females. Since before we locked all these values, we can just drag the, all the functions down and change the M with an F. So we we'll do like this, change here, and we can com like easily compute all the values in this way. In the third part, we are asked to create a, a second summary to calculate uh, using the appropriate function the total income from work for fem fem males and females, the number of males and females of, of George's class, and the average per capita income for males and females. So what we do is to create a um, table similar to the one we have above um, with male and female here. And with these um, headers here. So uh, total income from work, then we have number of males or females, and finally, um, average per capita. So what we do is, as before, to use the function sum if. The range is still the gender. Uh, the criteria is male as before and the sum range is the total income from work because this is what we are requested to find before uh, entering the formula we lock uh, the two ranges so that we can use the formula again for females immediately so we just drag it down and change the parameter here female and what we can do is uh, put the currency sign here because they are income. Uh, to compute the number of males and females, we use the function count if. Uh, the range is as before the gender. And the criteria is, as you can imagine, male for now. We lock this one, and here we have it. And then we copy the, the formula here, and we change the criteria. Uh, to compute the average per capita, we can just divide this one for the total number of males and do the same for females. We now have to create a chart uh, in which we have to emphasize the difference between males and females through a mixed chart on two axes. So what we do is to select the table here and uh, insert a combo graph like this. Uh, first of all, we need to, uh, to do something on the data we insert. So we go on select data and we switch rows and column so that um, male and female categories are on the horizontal axis while uh, the total income and the number of males and females are, are on the vertical axis. But then, since of course this graph doesn't, doesn't mean anything, uh, we go on change chart type and we uh, switch these two uh, parameters like this. And we we take the secondary axis for number of males and females. In this way, uh, we see that we have a 
another um, let's say index on the right axis uh, that uh, is referred to the orange uh, parameter which is the number of males and females while the uh, total income from work is uh, measured on this other axis so we do okay and this is our chart and we insert it like below the the rest <laughs>